Thank you. For months, we've been sharing with you the terrible news that Aurora is in the middle of a crime wave involving its teenagers. Shootings are a regular occurrence among kids that are barely old enough to drive. The city now hopes that a boost in money can slow things down. Tori Mason joins us from Aurora tonight. Tori, City Council moved forward on that funding tonight. Yes, Karen, and the city's violence prevention team has spent about a year coming up with a plan to address the problem, and some council members still objected. A few say that we need to have a better understanding about what's driving youth violence. When you're a kid on the court, you've got to keep your guard up. You got muscles. But instead of shooting balls, Aurora teens are dodging bullets. If you see what's going on now in the city, Youth are getting shot every single day. The city is giving half a million dollars to programs combating youth violence. The majority will go towards intervention with just 20% funding violence prevention. We can't wait until it's in our home to make it something that we move on. Shana Shaw with the nonprofit Compound of Compassion applied for the grant. There's also a piece that has to take place prior to any of these incidents occurring and putting programming in place, supporting organizations who have the programs to um, create preventions. Shaw says tackling this crisis should be reactionary. Her programming meets teens where they're at by creating safe zones around the city. Our youth are carrying weapons right now because they don't feel safe in our community. That's not a youth situation. That's an adult situation. That's a community situation because we haven't created a safe environment. The city knows there are gaps in serving at risk youth and some council members think there are gaps in this plan. There's so many different components that go into youth violence that we're not addressing. And addressing those risk factors is key. Shaw also says that recognizing some of the barriers, keeping teens away from the resources offered to them is also incredibly important. We're live in Aurora, Tori Mason covering Colorado first.